Right, hello everybody, welcome to my Yaks Ass game number two, um, NAF style tournament. The, my NAF team is in it. Um, tackle strip, um, leader, dodge, dodge, and guard. So 11 players, elves, seven dodge players, very good. Good record overall, because um, he's the one that uses the NAF ladder. Um, versus Tyra, who's also in his first game, and he's got chaffs. This is one of the worst matchups. However, he does not have a short hands player. So. You know we're going to have the chance to uh, strip him. He does have three guard and might go. Well. And obviously six tackle is uh, is somewhat problematic. That's a good emote. That looks like that looks like the uh, that looks like the the one that added, doesn't it? A little bit the uh, the Nurgle Org. Pretty good. Pretty happy that look, that looks a bit like that. <laughs> Yeah, it should be there, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's, he can only be used aggressively, right? A strip ball. ball! He can only be used aggressively, a strip ball. If you go 2 0 up, you've won, haven't you? That's the thing. I think I'm just going to do boring defense. Boring defense of boringness. I'm not going to do any offset LOS bollocks. I might know I am. Fuck it. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do the fucking offset LOS. Let's bamboozle the cunt. And when I say the cunt, I don't actually mean the human Tyra. It's just an endearing term for my opponent. <laughs> not, a, not a nasty one. Right, let's go. Hello. This is Rez. Yes, Jimmy dear, this is Rez. It is indeed Rez. Hello, Lotto Bob. <laughs> Beautiful man. <laughs> man. All right, man. <laughs> Just reminds me of uh, that fucking show. What was it? What was that show? Uh, game on. All right, man. <laughs> Hello, Grammaton. Grammaton Cleric. I remember that was a good. Sh that was a good movie. That uh -huh. whatever it was called. Offset LOS, he is fucked. He is absolutely fucked. We've got an offset LOS. His brain is already struggling to cope with these strats. He's like, whoa, what is this? What is this? I've only ever played on PS4. I've got no fucking clue what the fuck this is about. <laughs> Hello, little Vaz. He is trying to carry on the... Uh, on the strength four block, which is obviously his best uh, his best bet for carrying the ball successfully. But on the other hand, risky pickup. If he fails the pickup, he's in a bit of trouble, and he is not cannot dodge with him. So interesting, very interesting. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Does not go away from the tree, which is funny. His strategy must be to uh, get punched by it every turn. Which is what some people do, you know, but armor 9 does break, especially when hit by Mighty Blow. Mm. Let's just put it on learned. Learned skill. No, I want all of them on because I don't know which one the fucking catches. <laughs> I have to put it on all the skills because I don't know which which are. I I should colour code the catchers really. Next time, gadget. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Shove you mighty you blow up your ass. Glorious. <sighs> no AV breaks. Hell of a turn so far. <laughs> Absolute dice and he picks up the ball. I would never have done that. <laughs> I mean, I might have tried it, I wouldn't have been successful. <laughs> I was just, he was just going to uphill the tree, that was his idea. Uh, let's go with this one. Call me crazy, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to take that one, please. Uh, 
Flip me, guys. What did you say? I'm very impressive to play against you. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, well, um... Oh, I didn't see this cunt! Oh, well, that's nice. I don't know what to say, don't I? You are a famous streamer. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> that's cheers is about all I can say, I think. Right, we have to protect this 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 dancer, don't we? That's the uh, that's the key thing here. I think he's relatively safe. Make him more safe. Oh, you fucker! You motherfucker! The <laughs> double ones. I could have just run around. Do you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could have just gone around. Literally, could have just gone around. <laughs> what a wanker! <laughs> <laughs> it was here or something. Was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Ah, no, no. To be fair, no, it didn't. It didn't need a dodge. If he was there, yeah, it didn't hit the dancer anyway. Um, this is the Yax Ass Tournament. What the fuck, you are blood ball. No CCL today. Should put the Yaks ass logo on, but there isn't one because I haven't made it. Should have gone around. Yeah, it was a classic. That was a classic moment, wasn't it? The I should have gone around. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. There's um. Was that against Door? That one? I don't know. And hit two. Can hit two. Oh God, it blends this turn. But this was really good, wasn't it? Getting two. Getting two chuffs on the uh, tree was nice. So I enjoyed that. I enjoyed two two chuffs on the tree. Oh, he followed. Lovely jubbly. Let's take Le Push. And Le Stand Firm. <laughs> Zip up, 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 up. Oh, fuck. Oh, let's take both down. Oh, he stands up. Good. More than I would have expected from the cunt. I punch him. And it's a mighty push. Really game. Really. Really game. Punch him. No, oh, but now this is only a one day shit. Should have done that one first, eh? Dope. It is. Um, about twelve hundred, a lot of Bob. Um, twelve twenty, eleven hundred for the team, and then six normal skills. Maybe I should have just try the two plus dodge away. Do you remember when I said I was going to just try and leap as soon, leap strip as soon as possible? <laughs> Hasn't really happened, has it? But I'm surprised he, he, he's holding it on the block, to be honest. The fact he's holding it on the block one means that can just try and base him at some point. So it can just try and defend normally, I think, with him, with him carrying on him. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Look at dog. Just dodges away. No, oh, look at dog dodges away. Oh, because he's rooted. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. Motherfucker. <laughs> he just fucking runs away because he's rooted. Shit. Good. Uh, you're allowed to come in on the game, yeah. You're allowed to come in the game in Rebel as well. I'm not fucking getting advice, am I? Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's fucking be honest. If anyone wants to fucking cry about that, they can fuck off. Is all I've got to say about that. Bam. Got him. Ooh, got him. Oh, what a reroll. So I'm going to put him in for the assist. So that he blocks. And base is the down guy. So he's more likely to blitz the one who's basing the down guy. And the one who's basing the down guy is uh, expendable because he's got tackle, which is like nothing, isn't it? Two stuns here, pretty good. Even though we've got two of our own and, and basically essentially a death. <laughs> Thick skull is very annoying, isn't it? And now, of course, our two stuns are back, back in action this turn, so there could well be a hit on the ball this turn. There could be a cheeky hit on the ball. But no, you can always talk about the game, you can comment on the game in Rebel games as well, it doesn't matter a fuck. Honestly, it, honestly, if anybody wants to try and kick me out of Rebel, because the chat have given me advice, they can just fucking do one. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's my take on it. Oh, shit. That's disappointing, isn't it? Yep. I can put him in there, which is alright. Can't fucking hit the ball. Don't want to swarm either. All right. We can hit every hobgoblin this turn. Which is incredible, really, isn't it? He wants to remain, remain central. Fuck off. <laughs> Hit every hobgoblin, do fucking nothing to them. Fuck off. Needy game, they didn't die. They didn't even get knocked over. <laughs> Animus Black or, or Space Cadet would stun them all and say, Oh, they're only bloody stuns. I can't even fucking knock the cunts over. <laughs> Flip me. Can I hit every single hobgoblin? Nothing. <laughs> Including one twice. From a 3D, from a rooted tree? Nothing. <laughs> Shit. But he's not getting forward very well, is he? So that's something. And if he kind of potatoes, we've got the strip hit. The strip.
<laughs> See, this is good as well, having most of the team over here, so the tree's holding that by himself. Could have unrooted myself, but I quite like being rooted. I guess I could have done, yeah. I guess I could have done. I didn't like being rooted. I liked, uh, you know, not falling over. Not turning over, sorry. Not turning over. Got a knockdown, lads, boys, lads. Push him into the tree. Force said tree a little bit. Oh shit. Oh shit, push. Yeah, my cars exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think he's going to have to hit the tree this turn. But still enough to, to reposition. Maybe he should have based him actually, yeah, and then that would give us the 2D and win the 2D. Fucked us up. There's a hole here. Should have had a guy there. There's no screen. Shit. Shit. Blood Ball's next top model is fucking me up. Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Journeyman level players, are indeed, T Swizzle. Now we've got to pull the idiot leap play. <laughs> pull the trigger on the idiot leap. <laughs> hey, pick up your tea. He didn't even need that one unless he got removed. Still can get one day. I mean, dodge players, isn't it? Right, if I put him there. I think I've got to do this anyway. Of course it's not a pal. <laughs> Flip me, guys. Why couldn't we have rolled a pal?
Do I use a reroll this turn? I've got to get everyone away. Three, six players. In blitzes though. Maybe base him and blitz him. I guess it's better to fail the roll closer to the action. Maybe it's a GFI, get in contact. Maybe put him in contact then. And try to get him in contact as well. Of course, the next one's over. Wow! That is some grade A bullshit dice again. To roll what five two pluses and made three of them. So th two ones out of five dice. <sighs> Pretty a nine. And obviously if I powered that other guy I could have just gone for the ball. But nah. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Will he just score this turn? Gives us the two turn with a reroll if he does. Oh, he'd have to, he hasn't blitzed yet, he'd have to blitz him to stop the dodge. Oh, I think he's not going to score. <laughs> or maybe he's going to do something, I don't know what he's going to do. What's he doing? I think he's going to score. I think he's going to score here. Hello, Necro Impotence. This isn't going too bad. Looks like... Looks like he's going to score here. Well, I could have defended that if I had uh, played better. But... And if I'd rolled better, I could have, I could have ended the half 1-0 up. But there's a chance to make it 1-1. Hello, Vegan IP Kurgle. Hello. Jeezy. So just a... Just a shit line off. Two turn with Woodies with a reroll isn't too bad, is it? Got the passer and the catchers. He does have obviously a bunch of tackle, but what you gonna do? Oh, Vani, it is in French because I find it more amusing. Hello, Mike Le Machine. Zip up a pile poo. Um, 
So the tackler is the expendable one, so it's the tackler that has to hit the shitter. Um, he can block him and he can then dodge away and dodge down this side as, a, as an alternate threat. So you block him, block him, these two go up to assist. He blitzes, these two go out. Everyone lives happily ever after at the end. <laughs> right, we could just hand off straight to this. Could just do the straight hand off to the dancer. That's probably the best player to have it, isn't it? So, as we all know, the mark of a true Blood Bowl professional is long uh, actions first. Boom. Let's say choose to that cunt. And the tackle's the more expendable one. So he's there. I think it's definitely wise to just pick it up hand off to the dancer. Just some casual gym dice, nothing to be concerned about. Shows that up. Hopefully, that's enough. <sighs> yeah, I guess I should have done the second GFI, shouldn't I? But he hasn't got tackle. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I should have tried the second GFI. But he, he just blocks and then comes round. But then I guess he couldn't have come round. No, there was a player there. I should have definitely done the GFI. Oh, shit, cunt. Yeah, I should have done the second GFI. Oh, shit. Well, shit. That was dumb of me, wasn't it? I was thinking that he could just block him and then come through here to hit, but obviously I should have GFI'd so he could just stop the break tackle, but I thought at least I'm only getting hit but without tackle here. And if he hits that, I've got these two to pick up and score as well, right? So... What's scarier is him, is him breaking through the screen. Which is indeed what he's gone for. Ah, oh, thank you, Zevlaski. Zibobio. <laughs> Didn't blitz the ball, Curry? No. no I didn't. I, 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 I'm unsure as to whether the ball blitzing the ball was correct. Correct, because even if he pops it loose, unless he picks it up, even if he even if he picks it up, if he doesn't break AV, I just pick it up next turn and score anyway. Whereas this way, he gets tackle in, you know, tackle in the way and screen it and everything. I think this is probably better.
dulu First, shouldn't he? If he was going to do that, maybe he should have done it first. Oh man, oh man, there's his, there's his break tackle. <laughs> Get out of it. I pulled it though, good use of an apple. Um, so you can leap 2D, score. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That seems the best. In fact, I don't even need a leap. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, but that's only a 1D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. We could one D him and then just I can't one D him, I can't two D him either. Three, that that's not good. Or I could just blitz and then leap and dodge. Could blitz him on two D, then leap dodge. Leap 2D is the best, I think. I think Leap 2D is the best play. In terms of success, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let, let, let's Samba it anyway. We've got a minute and 52. We can Samba actions. All right, Samba action calculator, so it's a... He's got dodge, it's a, no, he doesn't know, it's a, not a two plus dodge. It is a two plus action, and then another two plus action for the hit, and then a two plus action for the GFI. So that is 86%. Um, already I'm feeling this is better than the leap, right? <laughs> the leap is 88% by itself, and then it's a two dice needing anything but a skull. That's 88.2. Doing the one is, is 86.8. Okay, so it is better to do the leap. The leap into a 2D block is the best. Some people say good goal, don't they, rather than GG. I don't think he's dropping the good game. Yeah, 88. Whereas the other one was 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> is it just is it just that? Yeah, so that's what it was. It was 88.2 versus 86.8. That was dodge, dodge back, hit the uh, hit the hobgob, and then run through. That was the alternative that I considered.
Yeah, because you can't hit him with two because of the card. I really do want to hit that guy, don't I? It's pretty good. It's pretty good to just punch him. <laughs> he needs to go there in case of a fucking blitz. Jesus Christ. So stupid. This seems shit, doesn't it? I think I, I think I just blitz one of the hobgobs in actually. I mean, maybe you don't need to protect against a blitz from chaffs so much, but I might as well. Heat. Hopefully the heat isn't relevant, because hopefully this is a 2-1 stall. A classic 2-1 stall. Honestly, I just don't want to, like, you know, I just don't want to fucking roll both downs. So, I'm happy to just push them away. As lame as it is, because yes, AV9 does break. Sometimes. But also one in nines also happen. Turn one route. Ah, parfait. Il a le ballon bien en main. Ah, zip bob bla 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 Hello, Jab Cow. Not so good with a turn one take route, but first half was fine apart from that. He's probably just going to hurt Derp like a mad cunt now. That's my prediction. And why not? He's got some tackle, he's got armor nine. My tree's rooted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done the old Tyrion half man's. Interesting. GFI to hit the dancer, fair enough. Hopefully, we don't need the strip ball. <laughs> Because yes, he is cast. Of course he's cast the first time he's blocked. The first time a dancer is blocked of be of course they're cast. Like there could have been any other possible result from a war dancer getting punched. <laughs> Classic blood ball. God, it's fucking annoying, isn't it? <sighs> Calls it to one. <sighs> Into a removal. <laughs> oh, shit. It's all falling apart. Jesus fucking Christ. 
<laughs> Already looking like a 2-1 win is going to be pretty impossible. Just going to have to hope for a stall as long as possible, somehow score and then get a 2-2 draw. Horrible to lose the stripper then. My fault for wanting safe blocks on the OS, maybe. <laughs> Nah, Necropotence. I've played this game too much to have hope. <laughs> no. No, don't be daft. Nothing good can happen. Nothing good can happen in Blood Bowl. You don't, your opponent has to make a Gia fight to hit your War Dancer. Dead War Dancer. You have to make a Gia fight to hit their Dancer with Mighty Blow. Dead guy with Mighty Blow. <laughs> That's a Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a horrible, shit, torturous game. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> Nothing good can ever happen. <laughs> That's Blood Bowl. Be really good to surface ball, wouldn't it? But I mean, that's a bit of a bit of an idiotic thing to try. I think probably the better thing to do is to blitz him out and then give him the ball. Oh, I, I fucked myself. Fucked myself, I can't. <laughs> I just expected a power. Lucky <laughs> uh, me. Fucking lucky me, lads, boys, lads. Pretty shit. Give him the ball. Right. Can't get punched from him. Can't get punched from these. Can't get punched from the great tackle guy. If he wants to hit with this guy, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Not really. You can't really hit with him. But yeah, it was a pretty, that was really dumb, the putting either side. And I should have put both on one side, so I could have pushed him there and then dug down the two. Idiotic, lucky to get away with it.
Good, he's got dodge. Ooh, pushing the wrong square, in my opinion. That gets him away from tackle, at least. Got quite a few, quite, quite, nobody on tackle really. <laughs> All right, so this is a little bit more than a little bit dodgy, but at least you've got the tree in play. But yeah, this is more than a little dodgy. <laughs> more than a little dodgy. Need the cheeky 1D magic. Oh, <laughs> 1D magic! Glorious! <laughs> Fucking glorious 1D. Alright, so you can get you can get a bull hit on the ball. Can't really get a two D dwarf hit on the ball. Alright, at least he hasn't got a tackle, and this isn't too bad, is it? This might fail. This might fail. And Carl pushes into another block. And he's near the uh, near the tree. Oh, glorious! Oh, man, that's a killer! That's a fucking killer, isn't it? That is a fucking killer. Glorious. Whew. All right, well, <laughs> I'm not laughing so much now. Well, I've still got a, I've got a blitz him. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to blitz him, eh? I didn't have to blitz him with a ball. I just didn't need to do it, did I? I literally didn't need to do it. I could have just moved over there and then blitzed him with, like, try to dodge out with him and blitz him with him. That was too risky. Of course it's a 1 in 36. I should have known. Dumbass.
Because he's armor seven and I can hurt him. And it frees up him without having to dodge with the same odds, but obviously, obviously it's much worse to fail a double one. Like they're most, much worse to roll double skulls and fail a dodge. <sighs> he was in the middle, so he could he could have based him. But yeah, I guess I should. But I, you know, then I don't want to just run, do I? You know, I don't want to just run. I really don't want to just run because I want to stall it till turn eight, don't I? Brilliant scatter, at least. But yeah, I guess he could have he could have done the dodge out on Blitz. Much better failure state on that double one than on the. Uh, Dancer Blitz, and now the whole team gets destroyed, and I knew I was going to roll a double one once I'd used my reroll, it was fucking stupid. But it wasn't going to be a good turn, whatever happened after that, was it? <sighs> Look at dog. How to roll a fucking... Double skull and not get fucking destroyed by it. Just have your opponent roll the double skull as well. No, oh, he's gonna fucking foul him. Fuck's sake. Pals me, Dodger. This is fucked. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done the hit with the ball. Should I? Not without a reroll. But it was 1 in 36 to lose. You know, it is red, yeah. Obvious removal for no send off. That's what happens when opponents foul your dancer, isn't it? Well, that's the team destroyed. <laughs> and all hope of a draw even destroyed. From that double skulls. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. What a load of shit. Should I? Well, well, I don't know. 35 times out of 36 is the right play, I think. But then maybe there was one that never fails <laughs> that doesn't have as good payoff. So it's, you still can't even say that it's wrong to do it. But I should have fucking known it would be a 1 in 36. Like, I was going to be in trouble whatever I roll with the next dice being 1 in 36. No. Mellow no, gold. No. Oh well, GG. They are wrong though, Von Kor. They are wrong. Um, yes, but it doesn't, you know, because that's the thing. <laughs> they are wrong. They are wrong. People who say the less dice the best are just wrong. They're just literally wrong. They're categorically. 100% provably wrong. Um, no, there's no SVP, Von Kor. There's, there's no SVP. Maybe it was, maybe, but it, it's, it's arguable because there was payoff to it. That's the thing. There was payoff and you get punched one time out of 36, don't you? But it's better. It's not progression, no, there's no SVP. Um, there's payoff to it. Positionally, there's positional payoff for making that blitz, isn't there? It's your safest blitz because it's a 1 in 36 to fail. It's it's seventy five percent of knockover instead of fifty five percent of knockover. 
and it frees up a player who then doesn't have to dodge and make a one in thirty six. It and you know and it gets you it gets you dancer moving first with support instantly. Also stops with a guy who can reach him. And there's just so many good things about doing it that you can't just say oh no it's better to roll less dice. You just can't. You literally can't. Um, unless you're fucking stupid and wrong. <laughs> so, but I knew I was going to fucking roll a 1 in 36, didn't I? So, with that knowledge, I probably uh, shouldn't have done it. Oh, I guess i just got to stand people up, right? And hope somehow he fails something. Quads are some, some bollocks. C'est serré, mais tout peut encore se passer. Et que se passe-t-il, Bob Tu pleures Ah, oh, c'est tellement beau Le craquement des os, les gémissements de douleur. Oh. It was uh, it was my drive, my little goal, so no. <laughs> Team's been wrecked. <laughs> yes, but none after I had no re roll in the ball with him. Do you know what I mean? On <laughs> call. I only made one double skulls without a re roll that I had to, uh, that I didn't have to make. That's why I remember it, right? Because I technically didn't have to make it. Though I think it was the right play, still. Left us a 1B here. No, not a gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just my crushing disappointment after this. Look at that, left as I want to do. Easy as you like. Easiest roll. <coughs> Easiest roll of my life. Hmm. I have not Von Cole, no. <laughs> I must say, I must say I have not. See ya. Ugh. Maybe I should have just scored. Gone for the draw. All the possible turnover. Wow, it was nearly so good, wasn't it? It was nearly so good. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> uh, only two less blocks, that's pretty good, isn't it? 62% dodges, fuck off. <laughs> Take root sixty percent. Fuck off. The leap work though. Thirty-four, twenty-six, twenty-four. Fuck off. <laughs> Just shit dice, really. 
but um yeah everyone got saw that yeah it was pretty cool ah oh, well so that's that's me basically done in yak's ass because uh four wins and a loss won't be able to win i'm pretty sure I'll need five wins or uh, four wins and a draw. But of course, it will be fun to play out the rest of the games against good competition. Ah, okay, Fool lost in the second round. So there you go, so that will be interesting. It'll still be interesting. I might play them next round, that would be good, wouldn't it? So at least, they're, at least like they're fair games against good coaches, aren't they? And, you know, he, he did play well, really, apart from... Apart from the uh my dice on the double skull but then i only got that chance because he got the double skull so you know it's fair enough isn't it right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic